I'm going to show you and go over what equipment I have for refereeing in my daily use. This is my little Adidas duffel bag, probably at least 8 years old. It's got a number of uses for it, I was just carrying all this stuff around and you'll see why soon enough. Right over here is a little clean dirty bag that I use for various odds and ends. Nothing else special, it's about 30 bucks from REI. EMS also sells it, I'm not sponsored by Equal Creek or anything, but they're the actual manufacturer of that. Then I've got my BND Pro Flags. Those come from the top ref. This guy, Harris Rashid, he's a great guy. I haven't met him in person, but I've had a lot of correspondence with him. I definitely recommend his products. Go check out thetopref.com for all of his gear and information. Here I've got my stand issue Saga Refer uniform shorts. They're a size small, but they fit me best and they really help with my performance by helping me look professional without getting in my way. These are some Nike warm-up pants I have. They're just running pants, pretty basic. Not part of the uniform, but they're still for training. I've got my referee uniform socks. They're the pro version. They say US Soccer Referee on them. The two stripes are the only ones in use anymore. Got some Nike compression shorts. Pretty basic, but they definitely get the job done very well. Lastly, or second lastly over here, I've got that's a warm-up jacket, size medium. I have another one that's small and more for like spring. This one's for colder weather. It's pretty chilly tomorrow morning. And finally, I've got my 10 referee jerseys. All of them are the pro style versus the economy style. All of them were 50 bucks or 55 bucks a piece. They all have the zipper. Five of them are short sleeve. Five of them are long sleeve. I just arranged them in this order, but the yellow, the red, the blue, the black, the blue, and the green. A little tired, it's a little bit past my bedtime, so I apologize for that for misspeaking, but this is what my gear setup is like. It all goes in that bag and I am ready to rock and roll. One thing that I strongly believe in is decent equipment can make you decent, but the right equipment can really make you perform right. If you have equipment that fits you right, that looks good, that's professional in nature and in, and in design, for example with the badges, the Velcro pockets, the US Salt, well, the official Sports International logo. You're going to look sharp. You're going to feel sharp. You'll have more credibility. As soon as you show up, you'll make the right first impression, and everyone will be happy with you and trust you much more easily than if you just show up looking like a slop. My other philosophy is you want to show up looking like you're a person who's a referee, who's excited to be there who's honored to be there and thrilled to be there and wants to do the best for themselves and for the game rather than just showing up and looking like someone who happens to be officiating soccer. Moving on to the next set of referee equipment I have are some pretty basic things that you would expect. Two smartwatches, they were both used, one of them was 85 bucks. The other was 100, I'll let you guess which one was which, and then I will tell you in the comment section. Some game cards, I just printed those off once. Some pencils, as well as red and yellow cards. Those I also got from the top ref. Again, check out his site, link will be in the description. My referee badge for 2020, which honestly, I was nervous that I wasn't really going to get to use this year. I had done that one game on March 8th and then everything was canceled after that. The DA program was shut down and I really did not have a spring season. No one else did, but it really felt like that was gonna be my only game of all of 2020. And I am extremely grateful that that was not the case. Oh my goodness, am I so grateful for that. It's my whistle, Fox 40, a little free coin with some stuff. 
And my little referee wallet. This one is actually cool. It's all it was ten bucks, but it's sturdier than all the other referee wallets I've had, and it's magnetic. So when I open it, I close it, and it just keeps itself shut. Much better than the little cheap plastic ones that I used to have. So definitely recommend investing a few more dollars into that and getting yourself a nice sturdy referee wallet. Again, this is just preparation. You could get cheap Timex watches, or you can invest a little bit more money in smart watches that give you more data, like your time, your pace, your distance, and your heart rate. I honestly recommend it. These are Garmin Forerunners. One of them is a 230, the other is a 235. And you know, you don't have to buy them new or anything for $230 or $300, but get them used for $100 or less and you should be good to go. These cards, what's nice about them is they're a little bit bigger. They still fit in your pockets well, but when you have a larger size card, it feels like you're having more command presence, especially if you give out a yellow card for any kind of dissent or misconduct. A bigger size yellow card sends that message more strongly. More people can see it more easily than if you had a little, little card. So that's just my piece of advice there. Invest in slightly larger sized yellow and red cards and it will increase your level of command presence quite significantly.